Hello Gen users and dear friends, this is Paul and with me the first video tutorial where I'll tell you what is new in the Gen 2.2. So let's take it easy and if you are new here, please subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified about new upcoming video tutorials. Also give like to make it more visible. Join the Wave Hunters group on Facebook, the link is in the description and right now I will show the new Gen 2.2 beside the previous gene 2.1 which we have here on the left side and on the right side here is the gene 2.2 and when you focus on its interface you will notice that between the game and the rating combo box in the gene 2.1 there is nothing but in this gene 2.2 there is new function generator x or gnx as a shortcut where you will be able to select between the generator number one and new generator number two. The generator number one is already present in the gene 2.1 or gene 2.0 as default, but as it was only one, it didn't need to have any extra combo box or option to select. And when we use this generator number one, and I will now enlarge the gene 2.2, you probably know that you will have to use the seat numbers and swap numbers for draw machine 1 and draw machine 2 and each number should differ from the other but using the generator number 2 which is much much more powerful and time based you don't need to fill it in and these cells can remain empty because this time based generator doesn't need to use these seed and swap numbers so then it's only about to select the game i will use the powerball and we can print the interface with the input and output box and you can already see that everything has passed and is marked by green meaning that it's correct and there is no red or error in the seed and swap section and when it will be printed you will notice that the monitoring for seed 1 and seed 2 is disabled and you will not see any seed in the output boxes even you use the quality now the quality is not for seed but in fact this is measuring the quality of the generated random numbers so it's just a change of the name and we are monitoring in fact the same thing. In advance I prepared the numbers from the previous drawing days and I will put them into the input box. So it's in the input box and we are ready to start it. You can already see the red snake is moving we have the best results representing by the green snake and i can make it even faster here it's already disabled so let's make it even faster and when you look to the some of the output box you will notice that there is a new information between the rewind and mode and here is the information about used generator in this case is g2 the generator number two and we are getting some results and that's it how it works you can also see that there is the quality for the generator random numbers but the cells for the seeds remained empty as they are not used in case of generator number two and now i will compare this generator number one between the generator number two so the generator number one you can imagine like a lake of random numbers where you can search for monsters and big waves but the generator number two is like an ocean of random numbers where you can search for much more monsters and even big giants and great waves also one thing that it's not evident on the first sight the generator number one when you stop the generation and save it you can start from the last save point exactly 
it's like you are on the boat and you are trying to pull out the rope from water and you are just pulling it out and then you just freeze and when you open it again you are still pulling out the same rope from the last point where you end it but with the generator number two is a little bit different you can also save the generator in some last point the gene can be saved the number of cycles the best results everything is saved but when you are starting again you in fact you are not pulling the same rope you are pulling some another rope which is completely unique and different in fact it's no uh, disadvantage or no problem at all it's just to be aware about it and if you want to pull still the same rope in case of generator number two then you cannot use uh, the save or stop or or uh, the transfer function and the re reason is whatever another time you will run the generator then you are still st starting in a different time and as this generator is time-based generator then you are always starting in different time in other way it assure you that you are still using completely unique new sequence of random numbers which is even much bigger with higher chance to find really giants in this ocean and furthermore i will show that the user guide is updated here is the chapter what's new where is described what is new as i am talking right now and when you go to functions there is new function it's a uh, generators and this is the description of the generator i right now mentioned here so you can read uh, here this in more detail and if you are interested to to know more about the whole development of the gene 2.2 then you can go to the YouTube channel to playlist uh, the research and development and there are four video updates about this Gene 2.2 creation from the 14th to the 17th so it's really good to look at that and to get the whole picture and that's it and that's all about this Gene 2.2 and uh, if you want to have it really very quickly then you can consider becoming my patron and selecting one of the tiers when you can even get it in a cheaper way to selecting the gene 2.2 or gene 2.2 golden edition and you can see i have already 16 patrons which is really really good and i'm really thankful for all of you and if you want to support my work more then you might just donate it simply via paypal me the links uh, to the patreon and paypal me are also in the description of this video so thank you for watching and your great support and see you soon on the new video tutorial until that have a great time and goodbye